Greetings fellow nerds! Today we're going to take a look at organic chemistry. I want to reintroduce you to a word having to do with English words. The word is onomatopoeia. Isn't it really fun just to say? That's why it might stick in your head. Onomatopoeia! 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 Onomatopoeia, man. Onomatopoeia. It's a fun word to say, to be honest. Actually, what an onomatopoeia is, is a word that is spelled like a sound. Like boom, crash, bang. These are onomatopoeias. The reason I have you think about the word onomatopoeia is it's going to teach you about positions on a benzene or aromatic ring. Benzene has six carbon and six hydrogen atoms. It's aromatic because the double bonds aren't really double bonds, but are shared between all six carbon atoms. It's also drawn often like this to try and show more the sharing of the electrons between all six carbon atoms. Benzene rings can be substituted on. If your primary substitution is at position one, there's a name for the secondary positions on the molecule. Remember again, onomatopoeia. If your position is right next to your primary position, it is considered ortho. If your substitution is in the position one away from your primary, it's considered meta. If your substitution is directly across from your primary, it's considered para. Remember when I said onomatopoeia? Ortho, meta, para. The farther away you get, you go down through the same word. Onomatopoeia is a fun word. Ortho, meta, para. It tells you about your substitution positions. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Look forward to much more. I've got many ideas of how to help you remember a lot more about science. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and check back the next time we have a tutorial. And we can make science fun and easy. See you later.